everybody. Millie here with a nibble. I watch a video channel on YouTube called 8-Bit Show and Tell. There's a guy named Robin. I believe his last name is Harbin. I may be pronouncing that wrong. He likes to do a lot of Commodore 64, Commodore 128 stuff. And one thing he likes to do is he has this one little single line program that makes a maze on the screen, which is kind of cool in a way. So I figured I should show you what it looks like on the Coleco Atom. So I created one, and I want to show you how it works. Right now I'm in Smart Basic. I saved it to the disk drive. Notice I'm using the disk drive today. So there it is. It's a very simple program. We just print a character on the screen, and we're using a random number to determine whether we want to print a forward slash or a backslash. Then we go print another one, and we make a maze. So, simple as that. Makes a maze on the screen. Let it run for a while. It gets kind of detailed. Though I do see some times it gets like stuck in a pattern. But that's probably because I'm not seeding the random generator, so I've seen this pattern before. So that's what it looks like in Smart Basic on a 32 column screen. Now, I'm going to switch over to CPM. And I want to show you what it looks like in CPM. CPM has a 32 column screen also, but it's actually 80 columns wide, so you window across it, only looking at 32 columns at a time. Down the bottom of here, if you haven't noticed, if you have never seen it before, those are the smart keys. One through six up here, just do shift undo to get rid of them because they are in the way. On here I have Microsoft Basic M Basic, so I'm gonna start up M Basic. I'm gonna spell it correctly. Not music, basic. This one I had to make a change, you'll see in a second. It's kind of fascinating what it did, what CPM did to this when I ran this program. Same exact code as the one in Smart Basic because they both use the ASCII character set. So let's load. Load Maze Basic. And now if I list line 10, you'll see, we only see part of it on the screen. I actually have to use the arrow keys to scroll over to see the rest of it. Remember, it's only 32 columns wide, but it's showing it's working on an 80 column screen. Now if I run this, this is the fascinating part. If I run this, when it gets to the end of the screen and it does a line feed, it also does a carriage return. So we're getting blank screen or blank line on every one. That messes up the maze. So, and just so you can see what it looks like here, let me get over here. Yeah, sometimes, sometimes. Come on, there it goes. See what it's doing? When it gets to the end, it's doing a line feed and a carriage return, you're getting a blank line. So I had to make a change. Line 20 is the corrected one. What I did is I put it in a for loop so it would print 79 characters and at the end of 79 characters, it would then print a line feed and then start over again. So if I run it there, uh, can I do run 20? I can do run 20. If I run it there, see it's slower than Smart Basic. The reason it's slower is because it's still printing off the side of the screen you can't see. See it's out there. All the way out there. So I thought I'd show you that. I always thought it was nifty when Robin does it on his thing and I figured let me show you what it looks like on the Atom. Have a good one.